Hello and welcome to the last video in the Family Violence mini video series by Women's Advocates. In this video, we will be discussing the different ways that you can help, safety tips and safety planning, as well as various resources in the community to lean on. The number one way to support someone who is experiencing family violence is to listen, really listen, and validate them. Believing what someone is going through is very meaningful, especially because that person may have been told that no one ever would. Look at the top of the screen for some other suggestions for how to validate someone's experience. Truly listen, let them talk, express emotion, cry, explain, do whatever they need to do to share what they feel comfortable with sharing. Second, offer support. Ask them what you can do to best support them. Maybe ask if they want you to check in with them every week. Ask them what the best way to do this is. Remember that they are the experts of their experience and that you are there to collaborate with them. Third, provide resources. In the description box of this video and on www.wadvocates.org, there are so many resources, and these exist for you to provide them as options. When you show these resources to people mention them, make sure they know that they are just choices and different options that are available for them to use. It does not mean that they have to use them right away. And third, if they don't make a phone call right away, respect their choices and let them go on their own timeline when they feel ready and able. Forcing them to do it is not helpful. Next, you can help them safety plan. Ask them if they think it would be useful and show them the interactive guide on lovesresource.org or walk through the suggestions on it. And lastly, connect them with other people beside yourself who can help them. Maybe this is a teacher, counselor, coach, classmate, or make sure they know for and they are not alone. That is an important to remember. As mentioned in the previous slide, safety planning can be a good idea. Here are some everyday safety tips, including considering where someone's safe place is and where they can go when they feel unsafe. There are also suggestions on how to practice self-care and little ways to remind someone of the things that make them happy or feel and last, there are some more resources. Be sure to check out the links in the description box of this video for more resources, including the How to Help a Friend or Family Guide. The hotline.org is national, so if you're not in Minnesota, that is an excellent resource for you. And they have a 24 hour confidential text and call line. There's also a post in the description box below, so please make sure that you submit that on Google form so we can see what you learned and if this video is beneficial for you. Thank you so much.